sure you get to look at my armpit. Okay. Hi. So you guys are just staring at a pillow I made. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I wanted to get a pin post up and um, some things shared. So you guys just stared at the pillow I made for my daughter for a minute. Um, hopefully it's not right up on my face and I can't. There's a leg. Anyway, so um, I'm Tasha. I am with Chalk Couture. I've been with Chalk Couture since July. And um, I am going live on my page and sharing it to a few direct sales things so that I can do a demo of um, some pretty cool stuff to show you. So I will talk while I, sorry, there's a little thing here. I will um, talk through the demo, of course, but I wanted to make sure that I was able to show you guys some pretty cool stuff. So, um, and this is all for sale um, on chocolatepour.com. And my link is actually in the pin post, and it should be right on the right on the post. So I'm gonna kind of direct you back over here, and I gotta wait for a minute and make sure that you guys can see what I'm doing because there's a lag in the video. So all of my technology doesn't measure up with each other. Okay, so these right here are chalk pastes. They used to come in two ounce containers and they now come in three ounce containers. Um, they last quite a while. Uh, this is a pink and um, I don't even know anymore. But they come in all these, there's 35 different colors. 
So this is a chalk couture board too, and they are fabulously made. They are, I can't even express how quality they are. Um, so let's get started. I had wanted to, I'm gonna leave my business card right here for you guys. Um, I had wanted to do a little something something um, when we went to leadership in February. I received transfer that had not been released yet. Now this is out and on our website uh, now, but it was not then. And so I haven't even played with it since then. As you see, it's still in the packaging. Um, but it is a wild and free transfer, and it has some, um, ugh, come on out of here, guys. Some flowers and some cool little vines. And there's lots of little pieces to it, too. And it's one big transfer, and a lot of them come um, where you can cut them up into the littler pieces like this. Like this is the tulip top. So a lot of them come where you can cut them up into bigger pieces or to littler pieces and mix and match things. Um, this is our round white board. And like I said, there's nothing like a chalk couture chalk board. Um, and if you would like to check out our products at all while I'm jabbering about them, uh, the website is Tasha's Timeless Treasures at chalkcouture.com. So these are my little antlers. And I want to place them on the side so we can do a flowery thing in the middle. And always when you first use a transfer, you're going to want to fuzz it up on your pant leg or on your t-shirt or something so that you can get it off the chalkboard easily. Now these are adhesive silkscreen transfers. And then you just put it on there and kind of smooth it out. And do the same with the other antler. I want to make sure they're even. All right. So Tasha's Timeless Treasures at ChalkCouture.com. So I want to make my antlers a brown color today. I usually make them white, but I'm usually using a black board. Let's see. I know I have brown. I have a whole mess of colors, and I bet you three in the back. A little bit about the company. So I have been with them since July. They launched in July. I've been with them since the end of July, shortly after launch. Um, they are fantastic in compensation, compensation plans. It is direct sales. Let's hope this isn't dried out. Yep, dried out. Okay, I have another brown. Um, sorry, the paste does dry out in my basement a little. There's always a dehumidifier running in my basement. And I live in Michigan, so... It's a necessity to have it, but sometimes things dry out a little faster than I would like because of it. So let me get these done. So anyway, the company is called Chocotour. It launched in July, which I've said three times now because I keep starting my spiel and then getting all distracted. So it's called Chocotour. We launched in July. We specialize specifically in do-it-yourself um, customized Home decor is how we started. We now also have inks, and we can make um, t-shirts and pillows and bags and all kinds of stuff, which you guys saw at the beginning of the video. Um, I just today made something for my daughter, a pillow to go in her room. So then when you peel it off, it's this perfect antler. Let me just get the other antler going here. And you're gonna to wanna to spread thin. And the chalk paste is rather thick, so you shouldn't have any problems getting it to spread. It does dry kind of quickly and it dries faster in places like my basement, but this is where I am. This is where my little workshop is set up um, because my dehumidifier is running. So if you live in a drier area of the country, um, you'll have to learn to work fast. <laughs> or another trick that some designers try is they put a wet paper towel over their work while they work so that they don't have to worry about being fast. I work fast anyway, so. Then you just scoop it right up and it makes perfect antlers for you. Now while this dries, I'm gonna wipe off my, ooh my squeegee, which are also for sale on the website, the squeegees, and they're perfect. Um, the bigger size, I don't even remember where I put it. Oh, here it is. Um, this is how they come. It's this larger size right here. 
and we actually end up cutting it into a smaller size. Almost everybody I know does it because they're just easier to work with when they're smaller. Um, they work really well for the large transfers. Oh, we have transfers that are 18 by 24. So, so while the antlers are drying, I'm actually um, going to do my words. So we're gonna do wild and free right in the middle. So we're gonna do wild. Wild and free. So I'm gonna put free down here, I think. And put the ant right here, I think. And the great thing about it is you can cut up your transfers and make them how, how you want to do it. Has there's no rules. It's all at your discrepancy on how you want your decor to look. So we were going with a little earth tony because it's antlers and then flowers. So I was thinking maybe a green. Let's see, where can I find a green? Right here, green. Green chalk paste. Now the paste is one of a kind. Um, it is a trade secret, so you will not find it in places like Michael's, um, which is fabulous because it is a trade secret and it is made in the United States. So you will only ever find it on Chalk Couture's website or from a Chalk Couture designer. So it is one of a kind and you spread it across the word. And the great thing about Chalk Paste is that it is washable. So if you make a mistake or if you want to start over or if you want to use the same board and change it out for the seasons, which I actually have one upstairs that I do that with, you can do that and it's a totally cool. And my stuff just wipes off with a baby wipe. So again, if you would like to check out the products, the website is Tasha's Timeless Treasures at chalkcouture.com. And the link is in the pinned post of this of this live of this live demonstration. So when you pull up the wild, look at how perfect that is. And I know some people are artsy and can do that stuff perfect freehand, but let me tell you, I cannot. So this has made my crafting so much easier for me, and, and it looks like a professional did it, and it's just, I just did it. <laughs> so I have wild and free on there. Now I'm working on the and, and I wanted to do a something, just something different with the and. Just a different green, maybe. Um, and you know, we have multiple, multiple shades of every color. There's 35 different um, chalk pastes to choose from. And like I said, it wipes right off, so. If I decide that I don't like where Wild and Free is at, I can wipe it off and start all over again. You think I like it where it's at, though. Uh, why don't we do, what is this color, brick? We'll go with brick. Okay, and if your paste ever dries out a little bit like this, I mean, it's still not dry, dry, but if your paste ever dries out, I just take a water bottle, squirt some water in it, and then I use the end of a paintbrush. I mix it all up until the consistency looks normal, which would be like a thicker, like a toothpaste except not chunky. Two more squirts here. And just mix it all up because we want it to spread evenly and thin, and we want the color pigment, pigment, pigment mixed in. Now, two to three. These are two ounce ones. Um, but the paste now comes in three ounces as well. And two to three ounces of paste has lasted me. Um, when I started in July, I actually didn't, and I did a lot of uh, make and takes and stuff like that, I actually didn't need a new white until Christmas. Um, and then right around Christmas, I ran through a ton of white because white and, or, or white and red and green. But um, I didn't need anything until Christmas so um, that's how that'll give you a little bit of an idea of how long it can last now this is already dry see how fast that is like you can just is this Ooh, not quite but do you see how I messed up right there I can just take a little wipe to that and wipe it right off but the ant the antlers are already dry so we are ready to move forward with that whenever we finish this so let me get this Ooh, that and is not even 
Okay, now the, the transfers, which are the stencil things, are adhesive. Um, they are adhesive, so you got to be kind of careful with what how you handle them, because you don't want them to stick to itself. It's the worst thing that can happen. And my son actually had one stick to his sweatpants. He's two, uh, not even two, and he had one stick to his sweatpants, and the whole thing was just a goner. I don't know what he even did to get it on his sweatpants. It was drying, and then it wasn't anymore. So when you pull it up, it is the perfect and. Um, so what I had wanted to, let me just really quickly. So there's our wild and free. So I'm going to start with a few leaves, I think. So I have this leaf right here. I have some really cool um, vines and stuff. That's not one of them. <laughs> I also dropped a piece, I am pretty sure. Yes, I did. I dropped a piece down here when I was unpacking it. I thought I got it. Okay, so we're going to throw a few leaves in here and get going. Now, I don't want to use the same green that I used up here, so let's see what I can find. Now, remember, 35 colors. You have plenty, plenty, plenty to choose from. Um, and luckily with the outdoorsy stuff you can use the oranges and the, it's the same. I think this is the same color and I don't want to use the same color. I do have this lighter one though. It's lighter green right here that I have not even opened yet. And this is lime green, so it's a little brighter. So it is a little bit brighter than lime green. So I am going to mix this one up too. It's not bad. Um, and really, really, it's I used to have much more luck keeping them um, moist when they weren't in my basement. <laughs> Like I said, I'm from Michigan and a basement's a requirement, so. But as you see, it just mixes all right back in. It's like not even a big deal when they dry up a little bit. Just add some water and mix it all up. And just scrape it back off. So I don't want to waste any of it. Now the three ounce containers have been a little bit easier to keep out of um, drying up. They actually aren't as, they don't dry up as fast. So a lot of times when I open my three ounce containers, they are just fine. Okay, so the cool thing is, is if we're gonna use the same color for multiple leaves, and we're gonna use the same leaf, we can totally um, use it over and over. Where's my little one? Here's my little one. I'm going to spread this one out. And then bring it up. And then I'm going to do another lime green one this way, I think. Now let's hope it doesn't ruin that first one. If it does, though, like I said, all it takes is like a wipe, a little wipe, and it's perfect again. Now I also am going to layer a little so I'm not overly concerned about how this necessarily affects this other leaf. See how that's a little bit, I'm not overly worried about it because I'm actually going to put a flower right in the middle of there, so it really doesn't bother me that it's like that. So I am really quickly going to wipe off this leaf because we're going to use it again with a different color. So while that dries, um, I'm just going to talk really quickly about the opportunity. So um, being a chocolate tour designer has been one of the best things that I've done for myself. It's given me something of my own. And I know that 
there are a lot of women, men and men too, that spend their entire lives working and providing for their children. And um, just, it's given me something that's mine. And this is all mine and it's all me and I love it. Um, it's also giving us, given us a pretty good supplemental income and it's been a blast. I've met women who have empowered me to be a better version of myself, have supported me through many things. Um, I just can't speak enough about the things that I've accomplished since being with the company in July. Um, the company has a pretty great, uh, has a pretty great compensation plan. Um, we get 40% off of our products, so 40% off retail, 25% commission on anything you sell on your website, 40% commission if you have it in your inventory. Um, so like when you do vendor events, if you decide to go that route, um, you will get a 40% um, compensation when you sell your things. Sorry, I needed a drink. Um, I'm trying to think of what else. We have a designer debut program, which is pretty phenomenal where you get a ton of free product and you get to pick your product, which is even better. Um, I mean, I say I'm a lot, I'm sorry. I gotta get better at that. Uh, so the designer debut, pro and then we have these things called designer dollars. So for every 200 PV you sell a month, you get 20 designer dollars. So at the end of the month, if you have a 400 PV because you've made all these sales, then you actually get a $40 designer dollar which is $40 off of an order. So it's not, they don't send you the products that they want to send you. They actually let you buy the products that you want. Does that make sense? So what else can I tell you? We do uh, make and take parties that are a big, a big thing in our company. And you don't have to do any of these things. You can do none of them. You can even just be involved for your own personal stuff. And nobody will judge or care one way or the other. Uh, but... Make and take parties are a blast. They're um, a lot of fun to have, especially with people um, that you don't know. So you get to know a whole plethora of people and you, um, so you take some stuff and you charge a rate and you bring chalkboards and everybody gets to leave with the finished product and it's really cool and it makes women feel great that they created something that they can hang out, hang in their living room. So you get to make new friends while you do it and um, what we do I've done it as a fundraiser. Um, I'm also a full-time teacher, so um, I've done it as a fundraiser in my classroom in the past, and it has gained me um, upwards to $300 for my classroom. Um, women love to create, I've noticed, not all women, you know, it's a general blanket statement, um, but I find a lot of pride in being able to create things that I can put up in my own house. The wonderful thing about our transfers is that although they're pre-made, um, there is some really great ones and you can mix and match them to make your home decor. So we have five or I think it's just five, five different categories of transfers specifically. And one of them is, um, I know one of them is farm, like a farmhouse thing. So if you have, um, like a farm styled house, this would be perfect for you. There's also like snarky and witty comments on them. And I don't know, I just am very impressed with what they've come out with. And on top of that, although they are not customized, we have um, the ability to cut them up and do whatever we want with them. And then we also sell fonts and accent pieces so that you are able to make what you want, basically. And who could ask for anything more? So I, um, the pillow that you guys were looking at earlier, this one, <clears throat> these right here are actually my daughter's initials not even sure. I have no idea how to work this thing when it's not in uh, selfie mode. And when it's in selfie mode, everything's backwards. So I try not to use it in selfie mode. But um, right here are my daughter's initials, actually. So I was able to take lettering and make her initials. If you look back on the Tasha's Timeless Treasures business page, you will see where I made my stepfather something for his birthday. And it said, like, world's greatest grandpa. And I made that individually with letters. Um, and... It was no problem at all. As you see, it's very easy to design and um, take off. And you can create masterpieces in the matter of minutes. Um, and they can be plain or not plain. And then there is a whole bunch of other techniques. Some of them I have demoed and some of them I have not. Um, on how to change your backgrounds up or how to make your, um, like, for example, the pineapple. My pineapple right here is two different colors into it. So there are techniques on how to marble things and how to blend things and how to blend backgrounds and 
There are so many different things that you can do to make your stuff yours. And like I said, with 35 different chalk base colors, you are not going to run out of ways to use it. So I was waiting for these leaves to dry. Looks like they are. To put down a big old flower right in the middle. You know what? Actually, I would like to do this in white, I think. No, not white. We have a white board. Mm. Let's do this color. Let me wipe off my squeegee. So if you are looking for a way to supplement your income and you're looking for a way to connect with other women, because like I told you, that's one of the biggest things I got out of this. I have friends, and I consider them friends, not just acquaintances, friends, um, all over the country now. And I love them. And they uh, we talk daily, and um, there are great incentives, too. And I don't know about everybody's team. I can't tell you what other people are necessarily doing with their teams. I only know what I do with my own. Um, my team is right around 80, I think 85 people right now. And people drop in and off, or drop out, and you know, like mm -hmm. any direct sales. They drop in, they drop out. It's right around 85 people right now. And we are um, just growing bigger and bigger as a company. So I, am, I anticipate that my company or my team will continue to grow. And we have pretty awesome incentives. Um, and I also have an upline who gives out great incentives mm -hmm. too. So, you know, some of the incentives include growing your team. Some of them do not. And the great thing about Chocotour is that there is a place for you no matter what your business goals are. So even if you don't have any business goals and you don't even feel like making a business out of it, as long as you get your PV requirement, which by the way is very low, um, then you are good to go forever. You don't ever have to sell anything, you don't ever have to do anything, um, and you can order what you want, design the stuff that you want to design, and you don't ever have to sell anything, grow a team, or do any of those other things. I gotta wait for this to dry a little bit. So hopefully you're catching this live or maybe you're catching the replay of it. Who knows? I shared it to a few places hoping that I could get some views on it and some interaction. But I never know who's watching and who's not. I can't see comments. So hopefully I've got a little bit of an audience and if you're not watching now, hopefully you're catching the replay so that you can see how great and versatile and amazing these products are. Now, because I said, like, I'm in my basement and things dry. I mean, things dry. I can hear my dehumidifier going right now. So things dry pretty quickly, which is why they want you to work fast because, while well, they, me, why I want you to work fast, because the paste will sometimes dry up to the, um, will sometimes dry onto the, the screen part of the transfer. And then when you pull it off, there isn't anything there. And then you're frustrated, of course. So the only thing that's still wet is our little flowers here. And I'm going to put something over that, too. So, again, I'm not overly concerned about that. So this is actually for sale on our site. Right now, I believe the round ones are still. If they are not... Um, there is this one right here, which is which is very similar. It's got the, the rope, very similar. And see, this is a wild and free too, I did. And so maybe you're not interested in building a team. Maybe you're not interested in the MLM part of it, which is fine. Multi-level marketing, direct sales is not everybody's thing. But maybe you just want to make things. So just make things. Sell them. Um, however you want to do it. Maybe you don't want to sell them. I initially got into it and thought that um, I would just use the kit supplies to make things for my parents from my kids. And before I knew it, I had a whole business. 
Okay, so the stems look to be... I don't want to put this on there though and then ruin it. Yeah, I'm going to wait a minute. So again, if you would like to check out the products, um, it is Tasha's Timeless Treasures dot com. And I know I'm a little all over the place today, but um, upon signing, you also get a 50% coupon to use once. Um, I stocked up on paste then and whatever transfers were available then. Things have changed quite a bit. Like I said, um, we now have inks and we can make all kinds of craziness that we couldn't before. And I am loving every minute of it. Um, if you are following uh, my replay or my shared post in one of the direct sale sites, I encourage you to please like my page. It's Tasha's Timeless Treasures. It's a Facebook page. So Facebook.com slash Tasha's Timeless Treasures. Dry enough for me. So we're going to put this down here right on top of everything else. Let's hope it doesn't pull everything else up. Because I didn't wait very long. But you don't always have to, and then some days you do. So one of the things that I was, what one of the things that I do love about it is that this is great for making gifts for people in your family. Um, customization, like I customized my daughter's initials onto that pillow because that is where that pillow is going, is in her room. It's for her. You can customize things with last names. You can do all kinds of things. Oh no, I tore up the sticks. That's fine. We can fix it. <laughs> In fact, I'm going to wash off that flower right now so we can fix those, those sticks that came off right there. Because I'm a little irritated that it came off, so... Let me go ahead and wipe off this transfer and get it all set so we can redo it. Like I said, the great thing about this stuff is that it washes right up. Um, if you are looking to make it permanent, which is I can, totally a thing, um, you can buy sealant on Amazon. I use Krylon Spray. Um, there is a matte finish and a glossy finish, um, both of which I've used. I, I don't have a preference for one or the other. It depends on the piece. And then I use Mod Podge. And then for glass, like mirrors, I actually have used uh, clear nail polish and gone over it. So, for example, I don't even know where the camera is. But this has actually got clear nail polish over it so that when I wipe it off with, like, Windex, it's not coming off. So we got to let this dry a little. I'm going to spray some little squirt squirt in here <laughs> before I close it up so that it doesn't get too dry. I don't have anyone commenting, so I must not have a lot of questions. Waiting for it to dry. And it doesn't take long, like I said, it's... Now it's dry, of course. Although, while I wait for it. No, I'm gonna do this first. Oh, I guess I don't need that, right? You can just put a flower over it. I actually think I'd like to use a yellow for these. They're just tiny little accents. Um, and I have three different colors of yellow. I 
Let's hope it doesn't pull up the mm -hmm. bottom one. Mm -hmm. Pull. Mm -hmm. I am going to fix those sticks. That's driving me crazy. <laughs> Just add a little piece to it here and there. Let me see if I can get you a little closer. So you can see a little bit more of the detail. It's not terrible. I mean, you can tell it's overlapped, but not far away you know and plus it kind of looks cool I have a leg on the live on my computer. I'm trying to get all my technology in order because I want you guys to be able to see it. So I moved it down a little and now I can't tell if you can see it any better or not. I'm just fan it. <laughs> So I did wash and dry this really quickly and I just want to do the stick part again, not the rest of it. So I just laid the stick part like harder and it was this color. So I want to show you, you can totally fix anything that you may have quote unquote messed up. By just placing it down pulling it back up see now we have a stick again <laughs> a little stem see little stem again super easy to fix which is something I love because if I mess up like I, like I just did, I can show you. It'll get fixed. Every time. Okay, I was like, I have a chalk base open somewhere. to do the inside of this one. What I was thinking is to do it a multicolored. So we'll do like a purple and then one of these in the middle. And just finish it up that way. So I'm going to stick this in here. Just whatever. Here, just like that. And then I wanted to pick a different color that we haven't used yet so that it sticks out a little. So this is a purple that we've not used. See it's slightly different. Let's hope it's different enough. A little dry, mix it up. Like I said earlier, now that you guys are staring at my hands all the time, now that I have this tripod, which makes it so much easier to do projects with, by the way, um, I'm going to have to start painting my nails. Making sure my hands look worthy of the camera. Mix this all up. Now I can tell you there is probably a much better environmental way to go um, as far as 
cleaning things. I use a lot of baby wipes. I have young children, so it started with me just having them around. Um, but there is probably a much cleaner way, a much safer way for the environment. I am currently uh, trying to get away from the baby wipes and start using other things. So I'm not sure that you would even notice that if it wasn't in the light, but I like it anyway. And then once that dries, ooh, I dropped some water right there. Once that dries, then we can put the yellow on top of it or maybe a peach. I have a peachish color. And one of the things that I had wanted to do is add some more leaves. The problem is I didn't want them to overlap. So I wanted to just kind of show you, oh, I don't want to do it over there right now. Just wanted to kind of show you like what you can do as far as avoiding overlap. So if you just put it where it's where it's going to go, you don't have to do the bottom part down there. Do you see what I'm like this bottom part can be like left out. Bless me, sorry. I knew it was coming. That's why I stopped talking for a minute. So if we wanted to, we could also use, um, let's go ahead and use a different. I've got some greens and blues and so if you have a little enough, this is not gonna work. If you have a little enough uh squeegee, if you've cut up a squeegee little enough, you can uh See my little squeegee, I'm gonna wipe it off, but you can be pretty precise with where you put your paste. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab some here. And it's not ordinarily an outdoor color, but see, like I don't want it to go over that flower. I want it to look like it comes from behind without layering. Okay, scrape it off a little here. And wipe it down. And then pull it up. So that's always a possibility for you too. Maybe you don't want to layer. Maybe you don't want the layering, the layered effect. You don't have to have it. I mean, you can definitely work around it as long as your squeegee is small enough. And you can cut your squeegees to whatever size you want them to be. So you should not have a problem layering or not layering. Now, we did have a release of transfers today. Um, it is May 1st, so it is the release of a brand new uh, designer kit. So if you sign on from now forward, um, your kit will be different than the kit that was before. Um, also, we uh, released 25, I believe, 25 new transfers. Um, well, we haven't released them yet. They drop at noon today, mountain time. So even though I'm Eastern and it's 12.35 here, um, at 3 p.m. Eastern time, noon mountain time, 25 transfers, brand new, will be dropped. Now, I sneak peeked some of them onto the Tasha's Timeless Treasures webpage. Um, I did sneak peek some of them because I was able to get them. Um, I have seen some of them and they are so summery and cute. Um, one of them, I can show you one of them in fact because I got one. Um, a little early because I went to um, something called the Couture Tour. And let me show you. Um, I don't know where the actual transfer is but this is what we made. And it says don't quit your daydream. Everything is possible. So those are being released today at noon Mountain Standard Time. So it would be 3 p.m. Eastern Time. So if you are local to me, then you will have those available to you at 3 p.m. today.
I'm trying to get the leaves to dry. I want to do one more and then I will leave it be for a while. I may end up adding things later, like way later, um, which I've been known to do. You know, you look at something for so long and then you're like, ooh, I could add this to it, and then you do it. So I want to add like a pink thing or something. So cleaning transfers, actually, I shouldn't even show you guys this because it's not part of the demo, but this, this is what I'm doing in the corner over here. I'm actually wiping up the transfers that we've already used. So I actually have an old board that I used to wipe up with, and I use baby wipes, or I use paper towel and uh, my spray bottle, and I just wipe them up. And you wipe them all off, and you got to make sure this screen, can you even see? I'm not even sure. you got to make sure this screen part gets clean, mostly. Like, that's the important part is the screen because that's the part where you go when you go to reuse it is going to be important because that's where the paste comes through just wipe it up on my old beat up board and I wipe the other side of it and then these tiny pieces actually dry super quick so they can be put away for the bigger transfers I just let it sit out um, sticky side up until it's dry not dry yet it's getting there after it's dry then we can put the big finishing piece on it and we might add more later we'll have to see I do want to find a more environmental least sound way of cleaning this stuff using wipes is not good for the environment wipes and paper towels and um, Clorox wipes and I just don't I don't clean my house with that stuff. It's hard for me to imagine using that forever. Um, if you are interested in checking out our new inventory, it drops at 3 p.m. Um, I will make an announcement on the page when it drops. Um, I will. I have been sharing little tid, little tidbits that I've got about it um, for like the last week or so. But I will definitely share some more as I as we get closer to it. I really want this to dry so we can finish. But as you can see, maybe you're not artsy and craftsy. Maybe it's just not who you are. I am I am good in theory. I think of great things that might work and then I try to do them and I can't get them to work right. So, um, what was great about Chocotour is that it made me, it made me a designer. It made me artsy and craftsy and it allowed me to have pride in what I was what I was doing um, what I could accomplish and what I could make and I got to share it with other women and other men um, there are a few men who really enjoy Chocotori I have one of them on my team um, and I got to share that with people and I got to allow them to be proud of the work that they're making not to mention it makes beautiful home decor So all day long, <laughs> you get to make things that fit your personality, your style, your family's style. Um, and this is just one of so many different transfers. Uh, there are so many transfers, retired, not retired, outcoming, um, and they're awfully trendy. So I actually saw the Don't Quit Your Daydream um, recently somewhere else as well. So they're a very trendy thing to have. Uh, and it's so easy to do. They're so easy to clean. Storing is easy. I just am I'm overly excited about sharing it all the time with you guys because it really is one of the coolest things I've ever done. And like I said earlier, they make fantastic gifts. Because as we get into an age where money and money and money and money, um, I've noticed, uh, things that you've been able to make or create for somebody specifically like this made me think of you like this specifically so I made it for you that is it speaks volumes about how you feel about a person or how you how you hold somebody in high regard that you've spent time making something for them so I always found that they make perfect gifts come on and dry 
All right, it's dry enough. It's dry enough. All right, let me move this stuff out of the way. And let's see, this is what I wanted. I actually want to use a pink. I want to use pink. Well, this was not open. Do we have an open one? I don't think I do have an open one, so it works out. So this is our, what I believe called bubble gum pink. Oh, this isn't the one I wanted. I wanted the big one. I don't even know where it's at. Oh well. So that is it for now. I would like to do a little bit more elaborate, but maybe we can finish a different day. I don't want to keep you too long. So maybe we can finish on a different day. But this is my wild and free today. So I want to wish everybody a happy, happy uh, Tuesday. And if you have any questions, you are feel free to message me. Um, again, my website is Tasha's Timeless Treasures at Chalk Couture, not at dot Couture dot com, and um, Facebook dot com slash Tasha's Timeless Treasures. <sighs> Have a great Tuesday.